Hello everyone, my name is Vic of ES Market Biz and in this video I am going to share to you the price analysis of the top coin. So without further ado, let's proceed to the topic. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Seller, Litecoin, Cardano, and Monero Tron and Tron price analysis November 14. So Right, so after months of stability, cryptocurrencies are under a renewed bear market attack. As total market capitalization has again dipped below $188 billion. The current sell off comes after months of range bound trading on markets. This is a negative sign because it shows that after a period of relative balance, sellers have gained the upper hand. None of the cryptocurrencies were spared in the carnage as most of the top 10 tokens by market capitalization are down anywhere between 9 to 18 percent this shows that selling has been broad based though the exact reason for the fall is unknown ceo of bkcm brian kelly believes that it might have been triggered by uncertainty surrounding the bitcoin cash fork. how should traders approach this new development is it time to do some bottom fishing or is it best to sit and wait until the decline plays out so let's see so bitcoin cash usd pair bitcoin crumbled today as a break below the trend line attracted sharp selling plunging prices to the new year to date lows as prices broke below 5900 it triggered our stop loss adjusted at 5900 dollars Currently, the bulls are trying to push prices back above 5,900, but every small pullback is being met with a fresh wave of selling. So, if the bear sustained prices below $5,900, the next drop should take the BTC USD pair to $5,450 and below that to $5,000. Contrarily, if the bull stage a successful pullback, the digital currency might attempt to climb above, above the trend line once again. At times, the first move from a consolidation is a fake out. Hence, the next couple of days are very critical for the digital currency as it will dictate the next direction. If the bears exploit the breakdown and seek prices lower, then it is best to sit out until the decline ends. However, if the bears will fail, to capitalize on the fall, it shows strong demand at lower levels. Therefore, we suggest traders wait for the next couple of days as it will give us a better clue about the next direction. So that is for Bitcoin. And the next one is Ethereum USD pair. Though Ethereum broke below the immediate support at $188, it did not slide through the September 12 intraday lows of $167. Currently, the bulls are staging back staging a comeback having pushed prices back above 188 dollars which shows demand at lower levels if the ethereum usd pair sustains above 188 it is a bullish sign as it rejects the lower levels on the other hand if the current pullback attempt is met with another round of selling then traders can expect the fall to extend to the next low lower supports of 136 and 110 dollars Though we like that it has not made a new low today, it is still too early to go out and buy. Therefore, we suggest traders wait and watch from the sidelines. So XRP USD pair. The rebound from the breakout levels faded and Ripple has turned down. It broke below the moving averages in the support zone, plunging to 0.40 cents. In doing so, it triggered our stop loss adjusted at 45 cents. Currently, the XRP USD pair, uh, pair um, has recovered some of its losses and is trying to climb back above the moving averages. It will pick up strength if the bulls break out of the small downtrend line. On the downside, the critical support to watch is 37 cents. If this level breaks, the next support is much lower at 24 cents. So the Bitcoin Cash USD pair. 
Bitcoin Cash had some of the worst falls among the top cryptocurrencies. Selling increased as it broke below the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of $500 and 50 days SMA. Our recommended stop loss triggered at $480, panic drag. The Bitcoin Cash USD pair down to the, an intraday low of $423, where some buying emerged. Considering the uncertainty of the hard fork on November 15, we advise traders to stay away from initiating any fresh positions now. Traders can wait for the dust to settle down before taking any trading positions. The EUS USD pair. EUS plummeted below the tight range and fell to the critical support at $4.49. This trigger a stop loss proposed at $490. Currently, the bulls are trying to provide support at $4.49. If this level holds, a pullback towards $5 is likely. However, if the support breaks, a retest of the critical support at $3.87 is probable. The 20 day EMA has started to turn down, and the RSI has reached close to the oversold territory, which shows that the bears have an upper hand. We suggest traders wait for the EOSUSD pair to stabilize before initiating any long positions again. The XLM USD pair. So seller is currently trading inside an ascending channel, having declined from the top of the channel to the bottom. We anticipate strong support around the 22 cents to 0.225 cents mark from the support line of the channel and the downtrend line of the descending triangle. If the XLM USD pair breaks below the channel and, the, and re enters the descending triangle, it will be a negative sign. Therefore, traders who are long on our recommendation can keep their stops at 22 cents. If support from the channel holds, the bulls will again attempt to gradually move towards at the top, the top at 30 cents. The moving averages have, has, have, flattened, have flattened out and the RSI has marginally dipped into negative territory which points to the consolidation in the near term. So Litecoin USD pair. So Litecoin has plunged to a new year to date low. Today, the price sliced through the critical support zone at $49 to $47 and fell to a low of $42. As the price had dipped below the $50 on November 13, our recommended stop loss was triggered. If the bear sustained prices low, Below $47, the Litecoin BTC um, USD pair has a lower target objective of $40 and $32. On the other hand, if the bulls attempt to bounce and climb above the $49, it will indicate buying at lower levels, which is positive. Currently, however, the digital currency remains negative, hence we are not suggesting any trades. ADA USD's uh, pair. Cardano could not scale the 50-day SMA for the past few days. Attracting sellers, it easily broke below the support from the tight range at $0.06 cents and reached close to the critical support at $0.060105 cents, where some buying emerged. If the support at the $0.060105 breaks, the ADA USD pair can slide to 0 0.43, 0 0.043722 cents. Currently, the bulls are attempting to push prices back above the 0 0.068989 cents level. If successful, the virtual currency will remain in a range, oscillating between 0 0.060105 to 0 0.082207 cents. Okay. So the XMR USD pair, selling on Monero intensified as it broke below the immediate support at $100. It plunged to an intraday low of $85 where some buying emerged. Currently, the XMR pair is attempting to climb back above $100. If successful, the range bound action is likely to continue. However, if the bounce is met with strong selling at higher levels, a retest of the $81 level is likely within a couple of days. The 20-day EMA is turning down and the RSI has tipped into negative territory, which suggests an advantage for bears in the short term. We recommend traders 
wait for prices to stabilize and show an upward trajectory before initiating any long positions. So the Tron used the pair. Tron below broke below the bottom of the range and fell close to the critical support at 0 0.0183. This level had held twice before, hence we anticipate the bulls to defend it once again. However, if the 0 0.0183 level breaks down on a closing basis, the Tron USD pair might slump to the next lower level at 0 0.0084479. If the support holds, the digital currency will extend its stay in the range between 0 0.0183 to 0 0.0281552. Okay, so those are the price analysis of the top coins today. So these are brought to you by Preferred Currency News. Okay, so guys, subscribe at preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year. So you can get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies and also um, you can view the spreadsheet of all the guru that will um, serve as your guide of the tactical analysis on some of the top coins, okay, or the best coins of the day. And also, if you have time, you can also visit eosmarket.biz. So if you're an EOS holder, you can visit this one. So this will serve as your guide on how you can buy, sell, and rent using EOS. All right. So this one, you know, marketplace websites and the travel website, and also the subscription website, preferredcurrency.news is also here. And the news website. And also along with it are also other useful links like dapradar.com slash eos dap. So the dap list of all the eos daps, the list of all the eos airdrops, so eos drops.io, the list of all the airdrops on the other currencies, on all the cryptocurrencies, airdrops.io, and also the tool where you can monitor your eos transactions, which is eos, um, eos authority.com slash alerts. Right? So this has been Vic once again. Okay, so I think, I think before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research for deciding for yourself. Okay, so once again, this, is, this has been Vic signing off. Bye-bye.